it's rich full and has yeah really a space art style Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Luning, Horst Luning. I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today I have a complete collection here on my cask. It's the Johnny Walker collection and I had already a few of the Johnny Walkers, the black label 12 years, the double black and the gold label reserve lately and that one had been 18 years old in former times and they switched over to uh, no age statement of the gold label in 2013 or 14 I think so quite a time now so that the old gold label 18 years reserve is already gone from the shelves mostly um, today we're looking at the next one the platinum label 18 years old which replaced well the old gold one um, and now it comes in a, in a platinum style. Um, here we go. It's four times uh, 0.2 liters. Oh. And they look this, like this. Typical Johnny Walker style. Uh, <clears throat> the label striding upwards. And uh, well, there are different colors in the bottle or the blue one especially um, but the uh, <clears throat> the 18 year old I had already a few years ago uh, had in reality a different looking bottle it was well had a thicker bottom very heavy very valuable and the small one is a typical every bottle is equal it's the price for small bottles, for uh, small numbers of copies of bottles, uh, the prices are going up. So they have to have identical bottles for all of those four uh, to have a, well, to limit the costs. Platinum label, but the content is the same as of the big bottles. There's something more here? No. Um, <clears throat> what's the specialty of this platinum? Let's have a look at the box. I've read something there. Johnny Walker platinum label is a contemporary and subtly smoky blend that reflects a strong, sweet and elegant Speyside style. It is well rounded with aromas of stewed fruits on the nose and a rich textural weight on the palate that develops into notes of smoke, malty cereal and smooth creamy vanilla. Enjoy neat or on the rocks in a whiskey tumbler. No, never. We taste in a premium nosing glass. There's something to say about this bottle I looked up and uh, this is written also in a small leaflet in the big bottle. Um, there have always been master blenders at Johnny Walker around which who are responsible for the blending process and the actual master blender is Jimmy Beveridge and in former times far back until 1820 um, there had been, well, special bottlings for, or private bottlings they were called, for uh, directors and private gatherings, whatever that meant. Uh, so it was a small amount of whiskey to be shared with a few people. And what did they do? They added more malt, they added more aroma because they said, well, those are very important persons, very important people, and we give them more. And it does not cost that much because the amount of whiskey we give away that way isn't that big. So today I would guess this platinum 18 years old for 100,000 bottles a year, even more. Um, and today there's even more single malt whiskey available than in former times. So they might have uh, kept the tradition 
to have more malts in this bottle. Well, there hasn't been never a bottle I wasn't able to, able to open. <laughs> so here we go. <clears throat> it's a cheap cap, metal cap. Well, typical sealing in, but I would suggest not to uh, put this on a shelf for more than two or three years, and if so, refix it regularly. Otherwise, it, there would be small gaps in, and the alcohol might be evaporating. <clears throat> I had that before, two years ago, I think. I have a good remembrance of this. It's rich, full, and has, yeah, really a space art style. If you compare it to the gold label, it has a little bit more of smoke. Yeah. It's sweet, vanilla, and it smells, well, more than a single malt, as a single malt than a blended whiskey, vanilla, and light sweet oranges, yeah, caramel from the casks, and very little, not very little, Yes, very little smoke, if you, if you see it absolutely in, in contrast to a Kalila, which might be in this as part of the blend. Um, but compared to a gold label reserve, it's more. Have a sip. It's only 40% and it takes quite a while until the, the strength comes through and brings your mouth watering. Dried fruit, oakiness coming up, no bitterness, sweet and yes, a little grain. But not the bitterness of the grain I'm very often criticizing here. Uh, no, the lightiness, the smoothness of a grain. It's very well done. Well, it's not that cheap. It's around 80 euros, 80 dollars, 80 pounds, whatever. So they have to give you something. Yeah. And they do it. They did it into this bottle. Maltiness. And some sweet oranges or clementines. This is a dangerously good blend. It's not too demanding, asking that you say, well, that's enough. No, it's Easy drinking, very, very difficult. No, not difficult, very dangerously. Yeah, so if you're able to get your fingers on such a box, well, the 12 year olds, everybody has that. It's not too expensive. So they should have changed that against a Odyssey, mm, <laughs> no, or a green label, which I heard uh, will be on the market in the US for a short time to celebrate some centenary, whatever, I don't know exactly. Yeah, thank you for watching, stay tuned.
The next is the Johnny Walker Blue Label. Well, one of the best blends. Well, at least from the Johnny Walker universe. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned, as I said, and feel free to give your comments to this bottle in our whiskey database.